Like two and a half So, we're going to have lunch now. Pizza. I can't read it from here though. Pizza. I'm having the four cheese pizza because it's yummy. He's having the four cheese pizza. Good. And blueberry muffin and what? And a coke. We were playing cobalt. He won by 10 points out of 50, which is a 20% advantage. But um, the only reason he wins is because it's a map we haven't played before. Sure. And the grip. Sure. I had set, but I win in the amount of grenades I collected. I got 69. I got up to 75 at some point, but I kept using them. Yeah, I continuously stole the grenades off in my blow. You kept up. stealing the gun. I don't know what you were doing with that gun, you just kept killing me so easily. Yeah, because I kept aiming at it right at you, going like... I hate you. I know. So, pizza, I'll... I'll do it. Do get yeah. a shot at the end of the energy. What? At the energy. And we've got, we had the costume party thing, so people around for it. Hello. Evil. And then there's this guy. Oh, tell me. Yes, I have such and such. But no. So, uh, I'll call back. I'll continue later. But we need to stay focused on what we really want to do. So, pizza. Eating pizza with this guy. Same pizza. He's eating it with ketchup. Yeah, can't eat pizza with ketchup. And they're still doing the not thing up there. We'll be going back to the curse thing to do um, the, the raffle thing. Hopefully, we get something. I get something. Focus on kind of working with the community. We'll be call it. Uh, I'll be. You know, doing it later. I think it was when we were here, but uh, oh. you were mentioned.
There are tons and tons more people that I could thank, but to try to keep this short, I only narrowed it down to those groups. But we have had just everyone has been amazing this weekend. We have a little recap video to close this out. To kind of, we've had oh. people running around with video cameras, shooting things the whole weekend. So this is going to be our our kind of grand finale is a look at what happened this weekend at MindCon 2012. Usually the, the opening ceremony is the all exciting moment. It's usually my favorite thing. The awesome statues and creatures that bring this build. I'm most excited about, I think, meeting the different volunteers. It's pretty huge. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Earlier, I was looking just in the random rooms and I saw these furry block animals. within the bigger Minecraft community. I think tomorrow's going to be mad. Uh, 7,000 people from uh, countries all across the world are coming down to Paris. 7,000. It's Friday night, and we are about 30 hours away from being completely done, and we have 16 hours. So we need about double what we have, is what I'm, that's my guess. So we have people coming with their little babies and someone coming with their little three-year-old who plays the Pocket Edition and then they play the PC version to parents, grandparents, people who play by themselves. So it's, it's a pretty awesome thing to get all of those people in one room with this common denominator of we love Minecraft. We are, what, 22 hours out right now? I think 22? A little less. We are uh, 21 hours out. And uh, some of the exhibitors are still just showing up. There are almost 50 different panels. We have a lot of new stuff to show, and then we're going to have an opening ceremony. We're looking at what has happened since the last Michael, and that's where a lot of things have happened. And we have tournaments in Scrolls and in Global, we have PvP tournaments in Minecraft. Pocket edition server running, and yeah, this is some of the things that we really remember. Right, we're about 12 hours out, and uh, I'm hoping to get at least a few hours of sleep tonight. I have to be on stage tomorrow. It is as exciting as anything gets. Uh, we just did a bunch of fun-throughs, saw the videos, listened to the sound here, and from the reports we got a text saying that at the hotel, you can hear the music. Play for me here. We are basically going to rock the entire kind of Disney Lake Quad area. Which kind of really reflects the game. Uh, 
people love the game for a lot of different reasons. They're really entrenched in, in like the Redstone community, and they want to meet up with other people who are into that, which you don't really get in other games. And then there's you know people who love their PvP and people who have their various communities. So it really the type of person that's coming to Minecon is 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 really passionate about the game. And I think it's cool when you can get those all those people together. Like that. Well, I'm going here because I love Minecraft. I really enjoyed it though. Meeting the fans, really. I mean, the, the one thing I really enjoyed is the Mojang Museum. We were there, we were just interacting with people, we were all friendly and down to earth and really there for our fans. There's really four different core types of gamers. There's the, the socializers, achievers, explorers, and the killers. Um, who do the player versus player combat? They they kind of fall under their own niche, and a good maybe a good server has a mix of those um, people. They're not all exactly compatible with each other, but if you have uh, a mix, it's kind of like real life where you have a bunch of people with different interests, but they all kind of come together to build one thing.